A Civil War memorial vandalized and toppled in front of the state capitol today. The Union soldier statue on the west steps of the building came down overnight. State patrol says vandals brought it down around 1.30 this morning. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live from the state capitol today. And Russell, that statue was also defaced with graffiti just a few weeks ago. Yeah, Brian, the statue defaced with graffiti. You can see that on the stone base of the statue. The stone base remains, but the statue of the soldier is gone, toppled over at about 1.30 this morning by vandals here at the state capitol. I'm told by the DPD that there is surveillance video of that, and they're now looking at four suspects who were involved in that vandalism. But as you can see, the stone base remains. It does have a lot of graffiti on it, but that really started about three weeks ago when these protests started. And now, as you can see, as we speak, Capitol grounds crews have moved in and they're removing the cannons that accompany the Union soldier statue here on the west steps. These cannons, as you can imagine, are extremely heavy. So they're using a forklift to lift them up and then they'll eventually put them in the back of a flatbed trailer. But again, the statue, the Union soldier statue came toppling over at about 1.30 this morning. We have some video to show you of the statue. Uh, from earlier, it is on the ground. It was on the ground. It remained on the ground from about 1.30 to about 8.30 or 9 this morning, and that's when the Capitol grounds crews came in and they uh, used a skid steer to remove the statue and put it on a flatbed. What happens to the statue from here is anyone's guess. It could end up in a museum. It could come back to this location. It was erected in 1909 and commemorates the sacrifices of the first Colorado cavalry who helped stop the Confederates from moving west during the Civil War. But it's controversial because that same infantry group went on to uh, participate in the Sand Creek Massacre, and some say they killed a number of women, children, and older people as well. Obviously, this is an emotional time. It's been emotional for these grounds crews as well. Um, here's what the uh, public information officer had to say a few minutes ago. We take great pride of uh, the staff of the Department of Personnel and Administration maintains the Capitol, the grounds, and all the state buildings around the Capitol complex. Uh, and so it is, it is, of course, an emotional thing to see this happen uh, to what is referred to commonly as the People's House. Back here live now, he just referred to it as the People's House, and Doug Platt is here live now. He joins us. Hey, Doug, thanks for being out here. Uh, I wish it was in a better circumstances, Russell. Tell us what's going on and uh, why this is so emotional. Well, uh, what we're doing now is, and we've been doing this for the past number of weeks, is reevaluating day by day. Uh, it's our job at the Department of Personnel and Administration to care for the buildings and the grounds here in the complex. And so right now they're going to relocate these cannons uh, to make sure that nobody gets hurt or no damage comes to them. And might I say you've done an amazing job given what's happened the past few weeks. Well, I can't say enough about our crew. Uh, the guys have been here 24-7 doing what they can to protect the building, to uh, address damages and vandalism as it occurs, and it's, they've really done Yeoman's job. In terms of the state capitol building, and Sam, if you could pan over to the state capitol and show some of the graffiti um, on the stone um, on the first floor. Doug, what will happen eventually there? Well, eventually it'll have to be removed. Uh, but because of the nature of the granite, it's actually a porous stone. It's not something you can just simply power wash off. It requires professional cleaners with specific chemicals and procedures, uh, and that's going to take quite a bit of time. What about the Union soldier? Will he come back, or is that yet to be determined? It's too early to make that determination. Our job today, our, our, uh, our major mission today, was just to secure the bronze. Uh, it's going to have to be evaluated for damage, repairs, restoration, that sort of stuff. You've done a great job. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate you. So yeah, the Union soldier now gone. Uh, you can see once again, the stone base remains here. Um, and there are actually placards on the stone base that commemorate the Sand Creek Massacre and all those who died there as well. Those were added uh, after 1909 to commemorate the Sand Creek Massacre. But again, the Union soldier, soldier statue on the west steps of the state capitol toppled overnight. We're live at the capitol. Russell Haythorn, back to you guys.